Hey there everybody, this is William Green. Welcome to My Green Pets. In today's episode, we're gonna I'm gonna update you a little bit on some of the things that are happening in my collection, but the majority of the program is gonna be dedicated to growth hormones that I use on my orchid collection. And these, inc these are growth hormones that can increase the number of growths, the frequency, uh, number of roots, and uh, just improves growing all around, kind of speeds the plant up a little bit. So we're going to look at those. Uh, just kind of overview of my collection. I've got about 50 plants-ish. About 20 of those are Cattleya seedlings. The rest are just some different odds and ends. I have some individual species. I have a few Bobophyllums, Catacetums, Paphiopetalums, and then um, a little miniature Vanda. And uh, first thing I want to show you here is this Bobophila mechanolabium. This plant's nickname is Hal because its flowers remind me of the evil computer from 2001, A Space Odyssey. And this is Hal's 16th bud on this spike. So he's been blooming on and off for over a year. This is another Bulbophyllum. This is a smaller one called Antiniferum. And you can see its most recent flower has kind of turned pink and it's about to fall off. But it also has another bud that's about to pop open. And these have cute little flowers with little antenna on them, hence the name. Uh, the catacetums, these are plants that go dormant in the winter for several months. And they have no, they don't get any water during that time. But right now we're getting towards the end of their growing season. And this one, Catacetum Fong Sing, has got two really nice spikes pushing out. I've never seen this one bloom. I just got them last year. So I'm really excited to see those. Should be big and fragrant. And talking about those Cattleya seedlings, they bloomed earlier this summer and one of them got pollinated and this is the seed pod so if you can imagine the flower at the base there it's kind of all dried up and now what just used to look like a stem is swollen up in this big football shaped thing and it's actually got these ridges that are starting to separate and I imagine if you took this thing off and cut it in cross section it would look like a like a star fruit or something but this thing needs six months or more to mature so that's gonna be interesting the other plant that bloomed this year is this uh, other Cattleya rex seedling, and it is quite shriveled up. The reason is because I transplanted it, and the plant lost a lot of roots when I did that. So I started looking into different ways to get this plant to grow roots, and this is the team of growth stimulants that I've been using. So... Um, the first one actually is the smallest one down there and this is the uh, plant stimulator, the growth hormone that is used by the greenhouse where I keep my plants. This is Fantasy Orchids in Louisville, Colorado. They have formulated their own growth hormone and in my opinion this hormone causes the plant to produce more growths than it normally would instead of one new growth maybe puts out two or three. Now this product, Kelp Max, I think this is the key to getting root growth on orchids. It's produced and distributed by uh, First Rays, and it's made from a, seed, a seaweed extract, and something about it causes roots to just grow. And I had been reading about different rooting hormones, and I found this one as well. This one is called uh, Indole-3-Butyric Acid and it's in this Fertilome Root Stimulator. This has actually got some fertilizer in it as well. The instructions on this product say that it should be mixed like uh, I think three tablespoons per gallon but I really really wanted to reduce that because I didn't know what the effects were going to be on my plants so I only use a couple of teaspoons I don't measure exactly but a couple of teaspoons per gallon and then I also use a couple of tablespoons per gallon of the kelp max as a root stimulator the other stimulator is already in the water that is given to my plants in the greenhouse it's automatically added there and I'm not sure what the contents or the solution is so we're just talking about the rooting stimulator so after a couple weeks of using that com combination of rooting stimulators you can see on one of the almost dead looking old roots we've got four new little root buds pushing out and I also used it on all my other plants just to see what would happen and there have been a lot of roots pushing out of my cattleyas, especially this one that's mounted. 
look, I can't even count how many there are. There's ten. And the, the thing is, the roots are coming out of the new growth, which is pretty normal. But there's also side roots coming out of old roots. And that's a good sign that the rooting hormone is working. Um, there were several that I had repotted into little net baskets. And this one got repotted into a clay pot. And I used that root, rooting hormone on them, uh, that solution. And they all seem to be putting out lots of roots. Now, this is a Vanda falcata. And it was also recently repotted into this Rand's air cone pot. And you can see um, it's only been repotted probably a month ago, and it's already got roots pushing out the bottom there. You can also see a lot of root growth towards the top there. So it seems to work pretty well on the Vanda. Um, this is that Catacetum again. And just look at the roots on this guy. It's uh, not only do they have lots of single roots, but you have the branching roots on the sides, and, and there's been a lot of new roots pushing out as well, uh, pushing through that sphagnum that it's potted in. Uh, this is a different catacetum. This is um, Psychnotis Wine Delight, and all these roots here that I'm showing you right there, these are all new in the past few weeks. I was actually kind of unhappy with the number of roots that I was seeing earlier in the season. But since I started using that solution, I started to see a lot of new roots pushing out as well. And even on my Paphiopetalums, this is a slipper orchid. This is um, Prime Child. And if you see those orange roots wrapping around the big pot, I think this plant, plant is actually probably overpotted. Um, but it's it's got new roots pushing out, and it, it seems to be happy in there. So uh, I'm going to leave it be. I like to see those new roots. And this is actually a path Michael Kopowitz, which I repotted recently because it had some root death on it. And um, you can see little yellow tips pushing out of this guy as well. It's got new roots pushing out. It's got a new little growth as well. So it's been repotted in bark in a smaller pot, and hopefully we're going to see it do well too. And then here's another one. This is pa uh, Fal Schilleriana. It's got several roots pushing out. You can see those kind of purple root tips pushing around. And then if you look down in the pot as well, there's lots of root growth pushing out the bottom. And uh, the kelp max I've been using every two weeks for about six months. But the uh, indole 3 butyric acid, I started using that just about a month and a half ago. And I feel like there has been an increase. You can see this bulbophyllum, um, one of its new growths. There were lots and lots of roots pushing out, and then some of the root tips died or dried out, but then when you use the rooting hormone, they start growing again. So it's, um, I don't know, it seems to be working. Also, this little path, uh, sorry, this little bulbo antoniferum, it, I showed you blooming, it blooming earlier, but it was largely without roots and didn't bloom for over a year, but we're seeing some nice root growth on that as well, so... Um, Seems to be working pretty well. Last uh, plant I want to show you is it's Malaxis latifolia, but I'm, I'm going to officially dub this plant the friendship plant because it produces tons of little offsets that will literally just fall off. You can see the old bulb there and these little growths just kind of hanging off the edge. You can literally just grab them and pull them right off. And I think it'd be a cool plant, you know, to just share with friends because it just makes more of itself like that. So this is my friendship orchid. Well, that's it for another week of My Green Pets. I hope it was help for you, helpful for you to see what rooting and growth hormones are being used on my plants. Like I said, the growth hormone is used by the uh, nursery, so I don't really have control over how much or what's in that. But the rooting hormones really do seem to be having an effect. Well, I'll see you next time right here on My Green Pets. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.